guys so i finally got a, another gladiator if you remember about two years ago um my last one uh someone ran me off the road and i ended up t-boning into a pole and folding it in half the one with the dana 60 front kingpin dana 80 custom triangular suspension all the full wrap everything put into it so i was a little bit you know devastated after that so i wanted to get out of that for a little bit well ordered one um about two and a half months ago came in um about 24 hours ago and uh started throwing parts onto it so so far here we have is a 2022 gobi um gladiator i got the gas engine because uh the engine's gonna come out <laughs> so it might as well make it a little bit cheaper to start with instead of doing the diesel even though i really wanted the diesel so I figured might as well just do that. And I can put the 3.8 in this, from this into something else if I wanted. Um, but so I got the, kind of start with what you see first. So the 38 inch uh, Nitto Trail Grapplers on some 17 inch Black Rhino uh, beadlocks. It's currently at stock height. It does fit with the front flare and everything like that. If you remember my uh, 2018 JL, I had 40s with no lift and all I did was remove the inner of the fenders. Uh, and went wheeling and did fantastic and I love that um, This one does have a rock crawler the pro X so the triangulated rear suspension coming and then the three inch uh, Long arm coming for the front. I think he calls it the silver back kit. I believe um, But yeah, so I do have a three inch long arm coming for this um, Currently the flares are off because I have nemesis industry crawler one so I have getting painted to paint match right now um, I have some inner liners sitting on the ground over there. That I'm going to put on today um, Last night I went ahead and did the moto built tomahawk front bumper I'll get a winch in it eventually I'm trying not to spend too much money all at once So I'm just getting all the generic stuff on and then I'll put a winch on there later um, An any rock rock chalk any rock for it can't use the factory Rubicon one and I wasn't gonna put a generic one on there so I figured why not put this guy on there um, Rubicon so the 44s locking axles I did go with the full-time four-wheel drive though so you can see it has like a CV style um, boot in there instead of a u-joint um, so basically I can have four-wheel drive while on the road it's the same thing they have in the 392s and the overlands talked to quite a few of the engineer guys and i was like dude is it really worth it on a rubicon would you see an issue of it failing or anything like that he goes hell no so my plan is you know put rcvs in there and i got full wheel drive while on the road instead of when you have it on you know in like the part-time full wheel drive and you're making a turn and the whole entire jeep's trying to do this while you're turning so can run it all the time which is rad um kind of good to see so i came with the halogen lights i did put the dv8 um which is like their OE knockoff and it's a couple hundred bucks left. So I figured let's try it. This is their blacked out edition. So, um, you know, this part right here is black as opposed to a shiny silver. So like, dope, let's try it. Um, Nemesis Industries is actually making me a body armor piece. I had a moto built one to go on here and then they reached out and they're actually going to do a custom Jurassic Park style, which is what this Jeep is going to be. Um, I don't have my YJ here because it is at the shop. Uh, again, JK axles put under it. But, um, so I have the red wheels and a tan. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of a weird look. So I'm going to have, you know, Jurassic Park, everything is a wood. I'll have to do a light bar. So I'm probably going to do a Baja design, uh, lights up top there. But yeah, they're going to do a body armor piece and it's going to have dinosaurs in it. So it's going to be super dope. Haven't decided on what actual rocker armor to do just yet. Um, so I'm just going to leave that as is. Works just fine. The rear, um, once I get the front inner line or the front uh, fenders back, and the lift put on then i'll gut these rear inner pieces um right now it just looks a little well, looks funny to begin with but i want to make sure that it looks appropriate level and all that stuff when it's all said and done i do want to do a bed shop on this one um they do have the moto built bed that's out that is the bop bed we'll see um not crazy about the looks of it i do really like the oe bed look so like i said no rush so we'll see um no bed liner, so if you're familiar with ordering any vehicles nowadays, bed liner is one of the things, and it was the same on all of my trucks that I ordered this past year or two. Um, if you did bed liner, you weren't getting a truck. It just wasn't happening. So got this one with no bed liner. I'll get it line next. I did have the little trail ready rails 
is what these rails here, here, and here are um, for my old Gladiator sitting in the corner for the longest time. Um, I did do cloth seats on this one, and I did them specifically because I am going to be doing some cat skin dark saddle brown leather so it matches the King Ranch. If you remember, I had a King Ranch 350 that looked like this, and I had a black... Well, it was green. Uh, 350 with the black seats, and I hated the black seats. I love black leather, but ever since I started getting the King Ranch style back in the day, I was like, that's what I needed. Then I picked up this F-150 not too long ago. If you've seen the other video, and it has black, um, or sorry, it's got the brown leather inside, so I figured, what the hell, I'm going to make this one have brown leather inside. But, yeah, so it's got the regular interior. When you do the Gobi, it is a limited run. doesn't do the red. Um, a lot of people hate the red, so that's cool. I wouldn't mind the red. Um, I am going to see if I can get this kind of leather stitched like they do in some of those Overland versions. Um, I think that would be cool to do that in like a brown leather as well. Did a bullet point uh, phone mount. I usually do the 67 designs, but quite frankly, I just I can't justify spending almost 200 bucks on a phone mount that I just I really don't care for. So got this guy. I actually have one for the F-150, but I'm getting rid of that one here shortly. So I'm not going to put it in. Um, I had a spider web shade. Can't really see it now, obviously, but it is tan. It has the American flag up top right here and then core off road over there. Um, if you follow me on social media, it's actually on my Instagram. We did a couple reels with them. Came out pretty funny. Um, doing a bunch of videos on Instagram and such. So check those out. Plus it allows me to use copyright music and I don't have to gain the rights for, which YouTube does not let me. <laughs> but yeah, so I did the painted fenders, um, painted hardtop specifically to do the jurassic park this whole reason i got this is to do a jurassic park thing and no i'm not one of the people that just had a fad appear like everyone else did suddenly you know three weeks ago like oh i love jurassic park i've been a fan since 93 so um but yeah so i think uh what else do i got i have yeah we're waiting on the long arm i have the inner liners going in today i'm waiting on the front fenders to be painted um I think at the moment that's about it but yeah guys i'm pretty excited for it so i'm gonna be doing update videos on this again everything else is still kind of a, a works everything's a project so yeah if you guys have any questions post them down below i will do my best uh to answer what i can all right y'all see you next video